Alright, I'm going to show my uh, 2012 Ninja 250 Special Edition. Uh, a couple of mods I've done. Got the Van Sticker, Thrasher, Garb in there. Did the Fender Eliminator. Uh, I got the No Cut Fender Eliminator from Targa. Um, pretty happy with that. Looks pretty good. Take a look, close look at it. I don't know why people are always scared to show their license plates. Like, if you want to, you know, murder me because I have a ninja bike, then I guess good luck to you, sir, because I live in Texas. Um, anyway, uh, that's the other side, All right? This bike is lowered, like, two inches, which is cool because it really makes it easy to work with and, like, maneuver, but kind of sucks because it won't do wheelies really I mean like I've dumped it dumped the clutch first year four or five miles an hour at like 10 grand and it still wouldn't pop up I'd probably have to stand up I just uh, unscrewed these reflectors so I thought they were kind of ugly um, put these reflective rim stripes on those are pretty cool um, I took these out I might get some LEDs we'll see I got this uh, aftermarket integrated turn signal and tail light off eBay for like $23. So uh, that's pretty cool. Works pretty good. And then everything lights up red for the brake. So there's both the turn signals, brake, brake, and turn signal. And I put these uh, integrated turn signal mirrors on, uh, which are pretty cool. I think that's a lot more visible um, at night than the stock turn signals were. Um, the only other stuff I plan to do to it is I'm going to paint everything that's silver black with like that high heat paint so it has kind of a dull black look to it. All the bolts and all the pegs and I guess the rest of the exhaust and the brake calipers and I'm going to take the license plate and put it like in here somewhere I'm not sure that I'll like that yet but I'm gonna see how it looks and then go from there it's got a uh, adjustable height kickstand uh, I remember when I was buying it that was already on there and the guy told me oh it has an adjustable height kickstand which you know <laughs> cow there's another cow and then there's some little baby cows got these uh, eBay shorty levers um, the other levers came out to like a right about here so these are really good um, they're adjustable and everything um, one thing I will say about these levers is that whenever I put the clutch lever on uh, my first inclination was to have it you know all the way in because I I'm only 5'8 I got you know pretty small hands but uh, when I did that uh, it felt like the clutch was like winding out you know and it would take a really long time to release uh, I'm not sure I'm pretty sure there's probably another area of the clutch cable you can adjust that and fix it but uh, for now I just had to put it um, all the way out so that way it would work correctly. Um, maybe somebody can give me some feedback on that. And, uh, one thing I can definitely say about putting these LED mirrors and then the LED brake light and tail light. Uh, when I first put the the tail light on with the integrated signals, um, it all worked just fine because I still had the stock uh, lights on the front. I respect the fact that I'm making a YouTube video right now. Jeez. Anyways, when I added the um, LED turn signals there um, if I had the LEDs there and the regular incandescence there and the LEDs there it would pop the fuse uh, so when I took these off and then I just have these um, I was getting the all four things flashing at once I didn't get the quick flash but uh, all four of them were flashing at once uh, I put load resistors on the these two and then after that um, the tail light the turn signal and the tail light was like it would flash here but then the other side would be very dimly illuminated uh, you know and then I put the 
uh, load resistors on each turn signal inside of this tail light and after that uh, it fixed my problem completely uh, the only thing about load resistors is remember when you install those to um, make sure that whenever you set them somewhere in your bike you pretty much want to tape them or fasten them somehow uh, up against some metal and away from some other wires because they do get pretty hot but they only get really hot when you leave the turn signal on for a long time I mean I would think that in normal use uh, they're not really going to be any kind of danger of starting fires or anything like that so uh, I was thinking about getting a fat back tire but as I read that that kind of decreases the performance of this bike so definitely don't want to do that I like how flickable it is in the turns um, anyways yeah this is my first bike one of 600 can't afford it for now pay this one off and then we'll get the 600 next spring and I'll have them both next to each other uh, so other than that that's the old 2012 special edition <laughs>